Please you don't tell my suck with the rabbit room I'll sell with my friends. I get some fake hat and I can keep it real. Yeah. I was running from the yeah. main shit that I feel. Better leave that whole line before you get killed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm always quick because I have really good sportsmanship to, like, you know, admit when I'm wrong. But, like, uh, I used to be violent. I used to kind of, like, beat on my boyfriends. Only, like, two of them. Most women who are that small as stature. Please don't say light skin because I always get that. I was about to say that too. That was small as stature. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a clever way to say it, but see, the simple fact you you know where I'm going, you know, not saying it's right, but you know the real. You know the real. You say you don't like aggression, or you don't like aggressive men, or assertive men. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like aggressive men, because then it's obnoxious now. Now it's obnoxious. Like now, I might have to like play you in front of your boys because you think it's funny and you think shit is sweet. You know what I mean? Like oh. that dude who thinks he's funny and he's not funny. So you don't like aggression. Or you're not fond of it, so you like simps. Hmm? I get some fake and I can keep it real. Always running from this pain. Hi, everybody, welcome to the Rebels Room again. And today I have Miss Lightbright. <laughs> I have eyes. What's up? How you doing? Hey, Good. you look very homey and comfortable. Very comfortable. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. But today, uh same as all the episodes. I'm just going to ask you a couple questions. Uh, get some of your feedback on some things. Mm -hmm. Some things mm -hmm. might be controversial. You know, some things might be a little, a little touch of those subjects. But uh, first, I'm going to start off with an icebreaker just so we can like feel the vibe. And mm -hmm. I ask them on every episode. Uh, what's on your music playlist? I have so many different like genres of music on my phone. It's ridiculous. Uh -huh. If you knew where my other phone was, I would pull it up. But um, right now, I've been listening to like Ruby Rose, uh, Travis Scott. Um, I always listen to like Jay Z and like MF Doom. Rest in peace. Oh, I can't believe he's gone. Yeah. So, uh, who was the last person you discovered? And he was like, "This guy's per, or this girl, or this guy's pretty dope." Or the last project you listened to that made you be like, "Hmm, this is pretty dope." All oh. right. So, let us see. Oh, um. You know, I was listening to the song. It's actually a really good song. Um, I was listening to it with a friend. Um, but it's from like 2017 and I'm just like finding him. And I was like, wow, I really like this song. You mind sharing? What's the sure name? Sure thing. It, um, 88 Glam Reloaded. And the name of the song is Baby Bro. That's a pretty good song for me. 88 Glam Reloaded. That's the artist. Yeah. And the song is called Baby Bro. Yeah, but I think "88 Glam Reloaded" is the name of the album. But the but the artist okay. is "88 Glam." Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So, uh, when was the last time you went out? Like, uh, the vibe. When's the last time I went out? Yeah. I mean, like the like two days ago, but I'm going out tonight too. Okay, cool. <laughs> Glad you said that. So today, when you getting dressed, what song is going to be playing? Um, I have a playlist, and it's uh, called uh, Trap Shit. It's called so, Trap Shit. <laughs> yeah. So I go from you know Roddy Rich to the Migos to Lil Baby. Uh -huh. You know, Twenty One Savage. If I said that already, I don't know if you ever heard of Young Gravy. He's funny. He's funny. Young Gravy. Yeah. He's a funny guy. Haven't, but I I I check it out. I recap it and check it out. So uh, that's your going out list. So say if you had a date, what what songs are you listening to? Is it gonna be the same same uh, same songs? Sure is. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Moving on. A little bit more serious. Uh, <laughs> so what kind of tests are there to show or to see if somebody is in a Interesting in a serious relationship. When they ask you, where do you see yourself in five years? 
I uh, hate that fucking question, bro. There's more. There's more. Where's the um? How many kids do you see yourself having? Okay. Yeah. Um. You know, do you see yourself getting married? Sometimes I get that question. Okay. So married. Okay. So say if you pass that stage, right? Uh, let's say you're a month in. Okay, when should a woman share her dreams or talk about her dreams or some of the I things mean, that she's serious about her dreams? She should be talking about them, irregardless whether she's in a relationship or not. You know what I mean? So like, it should always come up. It should always be if she's serious about her her life. You know what I mean? And right. She, she's always going to be talking about that anyway. So you know what I mean? Whether he he's picking up on it, you know what I mean? Yeah, is really you know up to the but, situation. But there's some women that I engage with that I'm not sharing my dreams with them. Right, I understand. <laughs> if it if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Yeah. You're not gonna right. you're not gonna give a duck you know a chance to go to like a fucking. <laughs> you know, anything else with you or something, you know, right. kind of, it's just going to, you know, eat its bread and swim around and shit. With other <laughs> little ducks. Yeah. Uh, what's the biggest misconception about you that some other people think is true that, that, that it's not true or some people might uh, see off the bat that might persuade them to, of thinking about you that's probably not true? I always get like I have like a serious face so mm -hmm. like if I'm not like usually I'm wearing makeup but I'm not wearing any makeup today I was free balling until I go clubbing later so yeah. but usually like like uh females like they think like <laughs> I'm better they think that I think that I'm better than them you and no 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 wait I I'm gonna let you finish but they think you think you better than them because you are and the thing about it is if you, my thing is like I, I convince myself every day. So if you can see that, that's why you think that. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, that's true. So it's, it's, it's not even like, I, I understand we're all equal. You know what I mean? We are equals, but I just look better than you. I'm not better than you. I can be if I, if I live up to my potential. Maybe I am because you could be, you know, vibrating on a lower level. But that's neither here nor there, nor my business. You know right. what I mean? And that's why, you know, I, I, I have such like high standards for myself because it's like, well, for one, how am I going to compete with anybody if I'm competing with myself? I'm trying to be better than who I was yesterday. So competing with the next bitch about what? Like, what does it have to do with me? Like, <laughs> why am I competing with this? She's, yeah, she has yeah. nothing to do with my life. I'm the only person who could do something about it. So that's why I have to be in competition with myself all the time or have that, that competitive mentality. Like, I can always do better. Right, right. And plus, you light skin, you know, what women, what other women. Women. Don't even go there. <laughs> no, for real. no, no, no. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's, it's the bad rep that light skinned women get. Like I'm on your side. It's the bad rep that light skinned women get. Like, oh, she thinks she's better than all she likes. You know what I'm saying? You know, Come can on, I be honest know. with you? My my father, Colorism. my father's dark skin, and mm -hmm. I always like both. Like my grandmother on my mom's side is dark skin, and my dad is dark skin. I just came out light skin by chance, really, honestly. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> but it's it's like it it I understand why why you know dark skinned people and light skinned people have this thing going on. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if you paid attention in history, but the Willie Lynch letter does explain this. So being that I know that I'm unconscious, like I don't I don't pay into that. You know what I mean? Right. Like just because I'm yellow doesn't mean I'm not melanated. You know what I mean? Right. I just happen to be golden. <laughs> so, hey, that's what's up. Yeah. Hey, we got to talk about the Willie Lynch letter, but not on this podcast. I mean, not on this show, but we'll talk. We'll talk about that because, yeah, I'm. I, I I like history and reading. Uh, reading up on uh, well, history that we'll talk. I say. But, I have um, a question for you. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know, like when all right, I know it's not all females, but like there's some females who you know they go with the vibe and you know they're filling the guy out and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. From my understanding, for what men said, they don't give a fuck about a vibe. Like they don't care about a vibe. You know what I mean? It's more so like if you allow them to get away with it, then they'll do it. They'll they'll see. They'll they'll test the waters. You know what I mean? Because a man, 
a man who will go on a date with you already has the intentions of he does want to have sex with you. Um, and nah. I feel like we should do nah. that. I mean, what? Nah. You think nah. I'm lying? I feel like no, I mean, no, 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 no. No, I don't think you're lying. I just think that, no, no, that's 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 not right. That's I think it's right. right. I don't know. I just feel like so. Men oh, wait, who's like they already know in their head, like they would do it. Not to say that they would, they would. Some men are like that though. Like I'm not, I can't speak for all men, of course, but I'm saying that there's a lot of men, like if they get the opportunity or say like they go for drinks or something like that, a lot of men in this day and age, because of this rape society, they will most likely try to, try to, <laughs> try to get the goodies. Right. You feel me? Like, <laughs> okay. 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 So before I answer the question, let me make sure I, I understood the question. So you're saying that some men don't want a vibe at all, and they just want pussy straight off, straight off the rip. I'm saying like, do you think there are men out there who genuinely like, I guess, care about having some type of vibe with a female and getting to know them before action? Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, no, no, no. I'm, 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 no, and I'm gonna tell you how men, men work. Okay, men, we want the pussy first then if the pussy's good then we care about the vibe we care. <laughs> no i mean but this is not right this is just how the man is but say if i approach a woman and i talk to her i'm already thinking like damn i want to hit that most men are but if i, I see her, I, was just... I mean yeah you, you're right but 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 if I see her and I keep going out with her, then I'm like, hmm, you know, I'm more interested in her. And she's not talking about bullshit. And she has actually uh, a, a conversation that has a beginning, middle, man, instead of just rambling on shit. Then yeah, I'm 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 going to be more engaged because that itch of just what I wanted in the first place, which is the pussy. If I already get it, then yeah, now I'm more open and want to catch a vibe. Yeah, now I now, now I want to see you know what I'm saying what she doing straight right after work men want the pussy first just like women y'all get off of just intimacy y'all want intimacy first <laughs> okay i mean but it's it's not it's not it's not say that the man is wrong or the, or the woman is right it's just that's that's how estrogen works and that's how testosterone works we want to conquer you guys want to nurture I mean, it's, 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 it's the sexes, though. That's just the sex. I mean, but uh, I think, and this is my theory, if a woman doesn't want to waste her time, it might seem harsh, and I'm not telling women just to be hoes, but do this selectively. Fuck him off real. And if he keeps coming back, he's interested. If he don't come back, you didn't waste your time. He didn't waste his time. You got a nut, he got a nut. But a lot, but but this is this is why a lot of women waste uh get get uh get get ghosted because the man he pursues the woman, he works hard to get the woman, he fucking entertains the woman, he pays for everything up front, and now when he gets the pussy, oh man, this pussy trash. Now instead of I want to know you more, I hate this bitch. She made me jump through all these hoops, pass all these tests, and the pussy's trash. She's trash. I'm not interested no more. Ghosted. It's not right, but that's just how 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 it works. But I mean, I mean that's my solution. That that that's my solution for women. Now, mm -hmm. women that can sit up here and talk about they hurt, and I'm just trying to give you an answer, baby. Not I saying mean, my answer is not the you're, right. You're, you're fine. Yeah. Like, in, it, it, I feel like yeah. intimacy. Like, I, I know, like you know, like the whole hangout stage and shit like that or whatever. Yeah, that's me. Like, I'm, I'm like, yeah, let's go to a bar. You know, get a couple of drinks or whatever. Yeah. And you know, it's so crazy because <laughs> I'm one of those type of females where I have like a high tolerance for alcohol. Mm -hmm. So, like, I have to like out. I'll, I can, I actually get to see a lot more of what, what, what men expose when they're like intoxicated because for some reason, like, I don't know, my friends, like they don't be having high tolerance. They, they just don't, they're not, they're not drinkers, but they'll go drinking with me because they want to hang out with me or whatever. Yeah. And then they can't hang. And then, you know, it's like, I feel like there's a lot of things that like 
I feel like it's repressed and they try to like hide it. But then when they get intoxicated, of course, and liquid courage starts to pump through their blood or whatever the case, they start saying stuff that I feel like they, 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 they don't necessarily want to like rush you to the bedroom, but it's like kind of like they're like always hinting like. You're talking about men, right? Yeah, like I can always feel that like tension, like damn, like if if she does this, then I could do that. Like if she does this, then I could do, you know what I mean? I always feel that. And maybe it's because I'm paranoid as fuck, but um, I just feel that like, in I, you know, granted, like, you know, depending it's, it's, on how you know cute you are, you get where I'm going. Yeah. I, I mean, I get you, yeah, and I go, I go, I, I drink a lot, I go to bars a lot too, but uh, it's the environment. It's just the environment. I mean, everything is just sexual. The music's playing. You're drinking. You're. Sure. I mean, but but I guarantee you, if you if you probably meet that same person at a Publix, he won't he he he, he won't be pressing the issue, or you won't feel that that I just want to fuck energy. But that's the reason why you feel that energy. But uh, I also say you feel that energy when a man's pickings is low and when he hasn't womanized before. Like, I think all men should just womanize before they get into a relationship. I mean, because like, yeah. huh? <laughs> Shut your mouth. Don't say that. That's terrible I, I, to say. No, That's I terrible mean, I, to say. I mean, I will tell you why. I will tell you why. Because... If I was trying to get in a relationship now, it would work now because I already knew womanized, but all my relationships have failed because I was young, testosterone, well, I was younger, testosterone was high, and I just want to put my little dick in anything. So the relationship's not going to work. So I think every man should at least womanize. So at least you know what you want. How the hell I know what I want if I haven't got anything? And now, I feel, now, like, I feel now. like that's where that's where faith. I feel like this is where you would need to have a strong faith system put in place because if you find something that you're content with, then why would you feel the need to go and experiment with something else? If it works for you and it's going well for you and it's resonating with you, then why would you feel the need to go out there if you weren't actually? operating in your higher self but that's a big thing too people don't even understand like on the side of actually like being in a relationship you really have to be whole with yourself Matt, get out i'm sorry that's my dog he's be barging in the room i mean it's it's, it's 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 because curiosity if i know what's on the other side i probably don't know i, I probably don't want what's on the other side but the simple fact that something is on the other side, I'm I'm probably looking. But I done had shit in different places, different countries, then then experience, then had my stories. So now when I get what I want, that's what I want. I'm not looking like when some, when a girl comes into a room because I probably done had one already like that or better. I'm not worried about it no more. I didn't got I didn't got that I didn't got that out of me. Everybody has to go through a dark night of the soul. So I understand. Um, I, I've been through mine. I understand. I, I try to put myself in the cheater shoes so that mm -hmm. the my, the darker aspects of myself that I don't really expose get to like kind of like interpret that. And then I can be like, and it's a little funny after a while because it's like, damn, this nigga really got me fucked up. But, you know, and also too, it's like, okay, now I understand kind of like how somebody manipulative thinks. And I know, I know how to, you know, advance that if it was to come to my, you know, it come to step to me again or whatever the case, you know what I mean? Like, right. I'm always constantly trying to learn something new. Like, I'm going I'm, to the club on a Tuesday. Say what? Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's probably why I'm going to the club on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. I've never done I mean, before. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 I mean, plus in Tuesday, since, uh, don't know if you want to say where you're at, but, uh, 25 cent wings, you know, Tuesday. Welcome to the city, man. To the city. Huh? <laughs> We're just like the way the way it usually goes is like uh like we've been to this place before. So uh -huh. but we but we already like got a section, so okay, gotcha. Staying away from the collective, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. 
But back to the last thing when you were saying, um, like, I don't know why I feel like I got to say this, but I want a woman that has already went through her whole phase. I need a woman that already went through her whole phase. Like, I'm Yo, dead that's, that's, some, that's some real shit to say. That's some real I, shit to say. I need a woman that already went through the whole phase. You're not going to be with me and then be wanting other shit. No, you're going to be with me because you want. I'd rather for a girl to be with me that don't have plenty of niggas because she knows that's what she wants. Instead of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because she already You don't want her to be a hoe, but you want the hoe in her. <laughs> I mean, no, no. Well, well, well based on what I'm trying to say is, if she didn't had plenty of guys, she's with me because she wants me. I don't want her to be with me because she never experienced anything else. I was just playing, but <laughs> I mean, I mean, but you, you catch my drift. You know? Yeah, I do. It's, it's just I mean, funny. Just, so check this out. Since we was talking about the bar and I like the role play, check this out. You already know you're gonna friend zone me, right? If I'm gonna friend zone you? No, I'm telling you that you're gonna friend zone. We're we're about to role play. Oh you're, man, you're 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 friends only me, right? We're okay. at the bar. I come to you. We already been talking. You already know you're gonna friends on me just based off my conversation. So can I get your number? Um, right now my phone is like disconnected, but it should be back on soon. If you want to give me yours, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So fellas, if you hear that shit, you've been friends on. I'm just trying to help the fellas out here. By the night, girl. I just, I just, I just wanted to share with the fellas, let them know when they've been friends on, man. You know, because a lot of guys they don't know when they've been friends on, man. Like, take your ball and play somewhere else, bro. You just got friends on, my nigga. I mean, and and it's okay. Like, take your. It is okay. You know why? Because it's gonna be all right. That's why. yeah. Yeah. But I always give my number, always. I don't never say, call me. I always say, hey, get your phone, put my number in there, and hit me up whenever. I always say that. See, if a, if a guy says that to me, uh-huh. first of all, you're too aggressive, all right? It's turning me off, because mm-hmm. now I feel like once I give you my number, you're going to be expecting me to be answering the text messages right away, and you already demanded my number. So, no, that's a turn off for me. Don't, don't demand me to put my your number in my phone like i'm gonna look at you like okay delete <laughs> i mean but check this out that's cool though that's cool though because i it it will hurt well it don't hurt because my confidence is high but it will hurt more if you text somebody and they don't text back if y'all don't never get a call from them probably wrong. it's more of, it's not an ego thing it's more like a Hey, if you don't see it, you don't see it. Fuck it. But I'm the type mm-hmm. of nigga, I guarantee you when you leave, I'm probably going to send it to the next girl. Baby. I'm single. That I'm sounds single. like some, some, some shit men do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single until I'm married. Man. Uh, is there something that you do wrong, right? That you try to justify it as right? Anything you like, like something that you know, like it's technically wrong, but you try to justify it as right or or maybe illegal. But you, you know, you say, well, because. All right. My shadow side will justify it, but I'll know it's wrong. But because I'm so wrapped up, my my ego and my shadow side are so wrapped up together. Mm -hmm. My justification is going to be wrapped in with with a I don't give a fuck bow like you feel me like so I won't be upset about what I said maybe how I said it a little bit Mm -hmm. so you saying when you wrong you gonna justify it because I don't give a fuck and I'm right see I was vibrating at a low level there you caught me at a bad time and you tried you tried it you know so now it's like all right, well, I was I was already, you know, vibrating at a low frequency and that's where you caught me at. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm always quick because I have really good sportsmanship to like, you know, uh, admit when I'm wrong. But like, all right, I'm not gonna hold you. Like, like back in the day, like 
I used to be violent. Like I used to kind of like beat on my boyfriends. Only like two of them, but it's neither here nor there. Uh, but, but like th- there would be times because of the things that they would do, I would justify, you know, attacking. Mm-hmm. And at the, at the lightest terms. Yes. Yeah. And uh, most women who are smaller statue, a smaller statue. Please don't say light skin because I always get that. I was about to say that too. That a smaller <laughs> stature. I'm trying to think of a clever way to say it, but see, the simple fact you you know where I'm going. You you know you not saying it's right, but you know the real. You know the real. I agree. <laughs> I agree. You know the real. You know the real. You know the real. I'm sorry. I ain't even gonna say no more. I'm, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. Hey, so uh, you say you don't like aggression or you don't like aggressive men or assertive men. Is that correct? It's not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like aggressive men because then it's <laughs> obnoxious now. Now it's obnoxious. Like now I might have to like play you in front of your boys because you think it's funny when you think shit is sweet. You know what I mean? Like oh, that dude okay. who thinks he's funny and he's not funny. Or, or like, he'll be like whispering in his friend's ear, like multiple times while y'all are like sitting there, say like, you know, vibing or whatever. And then it goes stale and you guys are all hanging out and some bullshit like that happens. And you're just like looking over mad awkward, like, what the fuck? Why did I, why did I come to that? Yeah, you know. Okay. But um, I asked that because I wanted to know, so since since you don't like aggression, are you not fond of it? So you like simps? Hmm? You like simps? Uh, all right. So I'm a I'm I'm a, an aggressive, assertive type of, you know, human. Um, I don't mm-hmm. I don't necessarily hate aggressive things. I just don't like overbearing men. Pushy, pushy. Yeah. Very pushy. Now aggression, yeah. I'm, I'm, I can I can I can deal with that in multiple different right. ways. Don't worry about that. But as far as with like say men who are like overbearing and obnoxiously pushy, no, I can't. Uh-huh. I can't. That's controlling. I don't like that either. Yeah. So what about the word assertive? Like they tell you oh, what they. Want. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I could deal with an assertive guy because I mean communication is key. You know. Mm-hmm. I'm very well, you know, level-headed. So it's not one of those things for me to like, I get it. I'm not, I'm not about to sit here and, you know, force shit. Like I'm not one of those type of females either. So. Okay. Okay. So uh, I don't know if you want to say how old you is. You don't got to say how old you is. But uh, after the age of 30, the woman, do you think it's too late to try to start doing motherly things? Or try to be uh try to uh, be more feminine if she was already seen as a uh what's what's the what's the word I'm looking for? A uh strong minded woman. Um honestly, the way I see it is like I feel like a woman goes through multiple phases throughout her, you know, female existence. So it's like <laughs> I'm twenty four. Yeah. Okay. I'm 24 and so I'm in like my prime. So, you know, yeah. when I walk through a room like and I'm dressed like, you know, you could tell I'm feeling myself. You know what I mean? Now, once I hit 30, I have now officially hit my dirty 30s, okay? I'm going ham double time because but, but, now but, it's like but, I have a direction and I know how to steer this shit. You know what I mean? Like now yeah. I already understand the game. I done transformed the game, transmuted it. I got the cheat codes. You know what I mean? So it's a little bit easier now. <laughs> That's but how they it, go <laughs> yeah, But it depends, on, it depends on how rough your life was in your 20s, depending on how, how, how long you can glide your 30s. You know what I'm saying? Because once you, because some women, if like say if you have, a, if women have a hard 20s, you know what I'm saying? Once they hit their 30s, it's going to show. But if she had a smart, conservative 20s then when she get in her 30s it's gonna like be a smooth glide transition if does that make sense 
I understand what you're saying. Like, if, if you don't, you know, the upkeep, the upkeep could be, you know, something that's yeah. very, very uh, minuscule. Like, it has to be blended well together. Like, you have to have a regimen. Luckily, I have one. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, how often do you think a woman needs reinsurance in her relationship? All the time for me. It would but be nice. I'm not going to ask for it all the time because I'm not one of those type of people uh, where like I'm not super affectionate, but I do need like to hear from you and, you know, I do need to see you and all that, you know, daily, like routine-ish stuff. I feel like it's, it makes sense. Like, especially yeah. if we've already crossed that, you know, point where like we're a thing, you know? Yeah. See, that's not cool. a thing. See, so your response is cool, but it's the woman that keep asking that's like I'm not gonna ask. Like I'm gonna uh, I mean I'm not gonna be like, don't you think I'm so beautiful? Like I'm not gonna be like one of those, but I mean like uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, how do I look in this outfit? Okay, I need that, I need that I need a response for maybe 12 more outfits because I can't choose. Like that's the type of reassurance okay. I need. You know okay. what I mean? Like, choosing an outfit and making sure, you know, you help me, you know slay every last one of them niggas you know what i mean like your bitches whatever type. okay i feel i feel i feel i feel so uh do you think a woman honestly wants a man to just straight provide all the time i mean of course everybody wants their problems wiped away but we understand that that's not a way the world works and mm -hmm. reciprocity is important so wishful thinking i mean maybe maybe the the lazier side of me would say hell yeah but the part of me that has integrity would know like he probably does want that watch for christmas or he probably does want you know something you know what i mean like yeah. he probably doesn't want to pay for dinner tonight all right you know like <laughs> i'll go find a bunch of coupons like <laughs> just get it but <laughs> <laughs> hey man, ain't nothing wrong with it though. Ain't no, I mean, because it's like, it's like, because I like to provide, you know what I'm saying? I like to treat. So if my girl was to say, hey, yo, get dressed, babe, I, I got this tonight, I'm going to, you know, she, I'm, I might pull ahead that night. Yeah, you better, you better be prepared. You better be prepared. She <laughs> can let you out. She yeah. can let you out. Yeah. I swear to God, every time I don't care if I haven't paid for something in two months. <laughs> the minute I pay for something, yeah, you do it everything. You do it everything. Yeah, you came for the restaurant, and here's the other menu. It's me. <laughs> Read it. Because <Damn>. you <laughs> eat everything on that bitch. <laughs> do you think every now this 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 word right here is being I think overplayed, o overused. Queen and king. Do you think every black man and every black woman is a king or a fucking queen? Do I personally? Yeah. Oh well, I would hope. I would hope that they would look at themselves in that aspect. You know what I mean? But I can't say from the looks of things and the way this this society is being ran that people understand that they can reach that type of mentality or energy or, or like tap into that energy. I don't think that they, they a lot of people do that and, and understand like being a queen is a type of energy. It's, you gotta be able to be on that frequency. So yeah, okay. you know, not so, that. So in order for there to be a queen or a king, there has to be fucking peasants. I mean, who's looking at those? Like, and when the hell the last king and queens don't even go and look at the fucking peasants? Like, <laughs> exactly. So they're how there, the but how? So, so how the hell are we all gonna be kings and queens and there ain't no peasants? I mean, honestly, because of my understandings on duality and the way they like, I'm, I'm like <laughs> really into like, like astrology and like the universe the mm -hmm. universe laws and stuff like that it's so easy for me to look at certain circumstances and apply those laws to them and then be like oh this is some bullshit you know what i mean and i'm really intuitive too so it's like not a lot gets past me so yeah. 
So, uh, what's your sign? Okay. All right. So, I'm an Aries, but I oh. do fall, I fall on the last day of the cusp of the Pisces, but I'm an Aries. It's the way it is. Yeah, I definitely don't get Pisces vibe. I definitely get Aries from I don't get Pisces vibe from I have my moments. Like, I love to go clubbing, but I sometimes will spend, like, two months, like, without hanging out with my friends. Like, I don't need to be around people all the time. Like, I'm kind of introverted, depending on the circumstance. Like, I really I really don't need to, to have friends. Like, I don't need friends, really. Like, and you I know don't... why? You know why? You know why? Because I'm so, like, I'm so, like, one with myself. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't disrupt my energy to be alone because I don't feel alone. I don't, I, some, you know, if I do feel lonely, believe me, you know, I got a plethora of hoes, but it's just like one of those things where if I, if I need to be alone, I could take that time and spend it alone, meditate, sage, something. Yeah, but I was saying, you know why? It's because you said it earlier, because you're intuitive. I mean, that's, 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 that's it. I mean, and I see, I, I, I feel that energy because you don't know. Uh, you are the top 1% of all the women I have interviewed, you're somebody that I wouldn't mind talking to, you know what I'm saying? And I don't be like, okay, I'm tired of this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're welcome. You, you, you got a good head on the show. You, you talk. And you just don't say things because you think it's right. And you actually have a definition behind everything you're saying so far. Yeah. Like, you know, that's, every step I take is intentional. You know what I mean? There's purpose yeah. behind it. Whether that's good or bad, you know what I mean? If I'm brought to that. So mm -hmm. I just, I'm now it's more so I'm able to tap into my power from that, 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 that incident that, you know, that happened to me. Mm -hmm. So, uh, going on the food, who got the best wings so far that you've ever had? Hmm. I mean, they weren't that good. You got to think about that. God damn. Yeah, because I, I went to school for culinary arts, so I could cook really good. I don't think I've ever had anybody ever make wings better than my jerk chicken wings. Nope. Do I hear a contest? I smell competition? No, I don't actually. <laughs> I, I've done a bunch of things in culinary arts, you know, so. So, so what's, um, what's, what's the last meal you cooked for a man? You mean my family? I don't cook for men. <laughs> cook for men? Cook for men? Your last relationship? You didn't oh. cook for or yeah, but I haven't been in a relationship in like months. Like I don't. The la yeah, like it. I haven't been in a relationship for months. So what was the last meal you cooked for? The last uh, meal I've ever cooked for a person in a relationship with. Yeah, there you go. Thanksgiving, like the whole Thanksgiving. I will never do that again for it any guy unless I am totally sure like but Thanksgiving was a month ago yeah but I'm saying the last time I've ever made like a meal for like any guy ever wow what so why you ain't like it because I love cooking I think it's like meditation what do you mean I don't like what I love to cook Oh, you just never do. You just never put yourself in those shoes to ever have to cook for a man. Actually, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Because I actually did. I actually did like last week. Okay, what was on the menu? I made shrimp Alfredo. It was very simple. Okay. okay. I, like to, I feel like people <laughs> should not brag about their shrimp Alfredo. Let's be honest here. Like. You don't really have to do much. You just have to season the chicken and let it sit in a pot and then throw either some spinach if you prefer, you know, but. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's, the, it's the Alfredo, Alfredo sauce. I get it if you can make it yourself, but if you can't make it yourself, then it's Shut one the of those up. things. No, I mean, you can, you, you can, you can mess up 
Well, what kind of what what you, what you use? Rogu or you like uh, angel hair noodles or regular noodles? Black bean noodles. Black bean noodles. Yeah, like it was healthy. I think they came from like Trader Joe's. Uh, are you a conservative eater? Um, lately, I really don't have the biggest appetite, but. I used to like I used to eat a lot and I, I never gained any weight so it was really easy for me I know a lot of ladies are like oh come on like but you know it's I can't help it ladies hey once you once once you get your 30s it might uh I'll catch up with you I mean I hope somewhat you know what I mean like because I happen to be like kind of on the skinny side where I really don't want to be this skinny but I'm like 140 but I'm five nine, so you know. Oh, so you got long knees. I do have long legs. Knees. Long knees? Knees. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> nah, that's what I tell all, that's, that's that's what I tell all my uh, taller friends. They just got huh. long knees. You must be short. First of all, that's a bad word. <laughs> you must be little. No, I'm definitely not little. Okay, you must be shorter than 5'7". I'm actually 5'8". Oh, okay, I was close. All right. What's the rules on touching on, on, on men touching hair? Women's hair? For me, personally? All right, first of all, I'm oh. always changing my look. I always change my look. My look always changes because my energy is always changing. So mm -hmm. for whatever energy that I'm resonating with, that's the look that I'm interpreting. Mm -hmm. you know um so I will for whatever I'll, I'll I'll wear my hair when I actually like when we were going out like you know clubbing like every day like I changed my my look like three different times I had like three different hairstyles I'm gonna change my hairstyle again tonight I'm not going like this I'm going to somebody else I mean I'm still me but it's just the aspect of myself I guess, that I'm, I guess. Yeah. you know what yeah. I mean yeah uh yeah, um, I won't say your alter ego, but your your sauce are fierce. No, that doesn't mean I'm about to bust down in the motherfucking club because I don't have any rhythm. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be in there probably taking shots. I might actually bring uh, the switch with me because I've always wanted to like smoke a blunt and play video games in the club in a section. Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I play, I'm a gamer. I, like, I love games. Like, I've been playing games, like, my whole life. I've played so many different video games. Like, that's why now it's like, you know, like, I'm sheltered. Like, that's why I don't get wrapped up. Like, if, like, yeah, like, I could, like, that's a good way to, like, for me to, like, get over a breakup. Because then I'm just going to play Super Smash Bros. for a, about two weeks straight. And I'm going to, like, name the character my ex. I'm going to be beating this nigga senseless across every <laughs> arena. <laughs> and then I'll feel more better. Hey, I feel you. But uh, you know, there was a study that came out that said uh most most people that, that play games like a lot, like their IQ is pretty high because they think outside the box and they grew up playing games and stuff like that. So that's dope. Oh yeah, I believe it. I believe it. That's dope to actually see it. And I have never met a female gamer like to say like i'm a gamer like you always see it online and you see it like on tv like like it's always yeah, it's like, like it's, it looks it's like the gamers that they put on like the gamers that get these like contents like you know the boobs is all scrunched in and you know and you know they got the the cute little headset with the ears and uh, the k whatever the it's just like okay all right okay all right okay. my go-to is a tube top and sweatpants like i am like androgynous but I'm very pretty so it's like I and I play a lot of games like I'm not one of those girlfriends who's gonna be like down your back like hey let's let's do this like no uh, I gotta beat this mission in Tomb Raider and then maybe we can go to dinner because like some things are just it, it falls into like a like it's like a it's like I can't see past it and most times guys are like well all right like shit I'm saving money you know what I mean but like yeah I'm a very like uh pretty like down to earth person you know what I mean so right Plus it's like you know it depends on how I feel too I guess yeah yeah 
Because if you do go out to dinner, you're going to be thinking about that Tomb Raider shit. Yeah, you see, I won't be able to think properly. Got to beat the mission and I'll be like, yeah, let's go celebrate. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. But uh, I never played Tomb Raider. Well, I'm more of a, I'm more of a realistic gamer. So, like, I can't play Call of Duty. I can't play I shit like that. I, I like, uh, I like shit like, I played last, I love the last, last Assassin's Creed, uh, Metal mm-hmm. Gear. I love all the Metal Gears because it's realistic. Mm-hmm. I like, uh, okay, everybody loves Grand Theft Auto. Uh, <clears throat> and mainly sports. But yeah. if it's realistic, if it's, I mean, you're a girl. I know you don't like sports. You know what I mean? It's understandable. But come I, on. I don't, I don't want to. You know, I, I can like, people, like I don't like soccer, but playing soccer on the game is 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 game porn to me. It's like it's a it's a beautiful melody. A beautiful Honestly, melody. the type of games that I'm into, like I like RPGs too, but I also like fighting games. Like I grew up on fighting games. Like me and my brother used to play um, Mortal Kombat, Shallow Monks. Remember that? Remember that game? It, I, n- no, I mean Mortal Kombat, not the other one. Shadow Monks. Shadow Monks. It was on Get In. Tekken. I mean, it came out with more after that, you know, for other game systems, but it was just more yeah. so like those were for like PlayStation Two, I believe. Yeah. Oh man, like. I mean, I, I got I, I got UFC. I like that shit. You remember as a kid when you couldn't beat something and you used to go over and over and over again until you start crying about it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and not, you're just used, used, to, used to be like, used to be like, man, hell no, nah, bro, just jump cheating. You ain't even playing nobody. Bruh, <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> like this shit. Hey, since you're in Atlanta, hey, there's this nice ass bar, this game bar. I'm, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you've been uh fuck. It's up in like Dunwood or somewhere. I forget the name of it, but it's nice as fuck. And it's it's a bar. It's like a bar, but it's like video games everywhere. I forget the name of it. And it's 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 pretty dope. It's pretty dope. It's in like Dunwood asked for somewhere in the area. I forget the name of it. But yeah, uh, was it? Yeah, yeah. But that, yeah, that shit was uh pretty dope. But you ain't finished talking about your games, like just fighting games. That's it. I like racing games. I can play okay. racing games. Yeah. I, you know, I need. I wish I would get back into snowboarding games. I don't know why I stopped. Like, I feel like they're so fun. Like, because there's none out. They all fucking so after, after. You know, uh, like that's why I always like. I used to like kind of collect game consoles, but mm-hmm. you know, I got I got to start all over again. But I, I got that new Tony Hawk Pro Skater. That shit hard. That shit my hard. brother's into the skateboarding games. I played those too, but I never really got into it because I never really liked the idea of having to like use the analog to like skate up and press a bunch of buttons and try to do a trick in the air and, and then try to come back down and land it like no, it's just yeah. it's just that's 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 the that's the beauty. And I had like terrible allergies, so I was sheltered. You could imagine. Oh man. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Whatever. It's called Benadryl. <laughs> Benadryl. Yeah, that shit doesn't work. It seems like your body get immune to it after. after no, I thought I was the only it. one. I thought I was the only one who thought that. I mean, and I ain't never took it. I'm just, I just like to study the body and like, nah, man, that shit don't work. I, that's why I don't take medicine to this day. All thing I do is take cough drops and that's it because that shit works. That's it. When it comes to breathing, oh, I need me a fucking cough drop. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to like other shit, like shit don't fucking work. I mean, it does, but your body get immune to it. Now you just hooked on the drug that you need to go get fixed because you got this stupid side effect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> true, true, true. Well, uh, my name is Ivory, and I told my truth on the Rebels room. Hey, kind of. That was dope. <laughs>